negotiations happening right now in the Middle East as Israel and Hamas are negotiating a potential ceasefire to stop the fighting and get hostages out. <laughs> Israel is stepping up protests to pressure Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to cut that cease but to cut that ceasefire deal with Hamas. Secretary of State Antony Blinken flew into Saudi Arabia this morning on his seventh visit to the region since the war began nearly seven months ago, arriving hours after President Biden had a phone call with Prime Minister Netanyahu about Israel's possible ground assault on Rafah. As far as Palestinians, President Mahmoud Abbas, he says an Israeli attack of a southern city where more than a million civilians are taking refuge would be, in his words, the biggest catastrophe in the history of the Palestinian people. He urges the United States to convince Israel to call it off as the Biden administration is pushing Israel to boost more humanitarian aid. Anti-war clashes are also continuing to break out on college campuses all across this country. And those rallies extending here to Virginia. This is video of a rally Friday at Virginia Tech. Students say they want more transparency from the university about endowment funding. They want to know if the university is getting money from companies promoting the war in Gaza. And they say they want the university to condemn the is Israel's violence through the Israeli supporters say Hamas should not be included if you're advocating for peace. We have a statement from Virginia Senator Tim Kaine who uh, got in touch with News 3 over the weekend telling us that in his words, people have a First Amendment right to make their voices heard on issues that matter to them and should do so in accordance with university policies and local and federal laws. And over the weekend, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin spoke with CNN about the protests, saying he's working with law enforcement to make sure protests are peaceful. But that does not go to, in fact, intimidating Jewish students and preventing them from attending class and and using annihilation speech uh, to express deeply anti-Semitic views. Yes, we will protect the ability to peacefully express yourself, but we're not gonna have the kinds of hate speech and intimidation that we're seeing across the country in Virginia. Again, many pro-Palestinian protesters are calling for universities to cut ties with companies that do business with Israel.